Hey guys, Kara is on her way. She'll be down here in just one second. I just want to say that tonight we are doing our live every Wednesday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. So if you want to join us for a live, that would be amazing. Um, we are doing a giveaway very soon for our 2,500 mark. So, you know, so watch out for that. And also we do Patreon giveaways every month. So if you want to be a part of monthly uh, giveaways, you can become a Patreon for as little as three dollars a month or more, and yeah, and then be a part of uh, monthly giveaways. This month we are giving away a ProTech PT. I am sending it in to get a new blade, so we'll have a brand new blade when it comes back, and that will be the giveaway for this month for the Patreons. Let's get to this video. Here's a quick look at the ProTech PT that will be the Patreon giveaway. Like I said, I am. I've done a regrind on this one, but it's practically brand new. I mean, everything else is tip top on it. Um, but since I've done a regrind on it, I am going to send it in for a new blade. I've already talked to ProTech. I will be doing that in like two days. I'll be mailing it out to them. So um yeah so then it will be back they said it'll take two three weeks and then that should be just in time for the giveaway and the, the giveaway for the patreon might be about a week late this month just because i'm waiting for it to get back but yeah there you guys go let's get to the doggone video Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara. Hello, I have a bagel. And today we're doing a first impression slash kind of unboxing. We already unboxed it. Normally we <laughs> do our unboxings on camera, but I honestly thought it was just going to be the one thing. I guess that's my fault for, for guessing, mm -hmm. but there was a lot of other really cool things and we want to, we want to thank the person that sent the stuff. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you start showing off some of the stuff that's in i can say who sent it right yeah okay so you guys all know don't him. say the last name i'm not okay. i'm saying his youtube name you guys all know him if you do know him as uh seems logical so he sent us can i say what this is or well we're gonna unbox it just okay so he sent us a knife but when we opened the package there was mother effing bagels <laughs> okay so i'm eating one now that's why there's some missing it's really good by the way he's they're new york bagels we got some plain bagels. I thought he was using them as like soft packing. Yeah, I thought he was using them for soft packing. Really? No, these are. These I, are I was <laughs> thinking, what a way to soft pack. These Use are, some <laughs> bagels. These are eating bagels, and they are good. Um, some candy, and by the way, you nailed it. I love sour candy. We're definitely sour people. And then he sent me some five hours. And then hours, he enabled which Jared's I love, addiction. Yeah. Talk about enabling. Enabler. Gonna have to suck one of those things down here real soon. He said something about, uh, he gave us a letter. We've already read the letter. Yeah, we've already um, read the letter. Um, he said something about the way you have to pull that out. Let's unbox that. Did you read that part when I was um, reading it to you? You were reading that part. I was reading the other one when you were reading it. Okay, that. he said you have to pull the spine or something. You might want to read it. There's a certain way you gotta take it out of the sheet. Well, we'll find out. What did you do with the letter? Um, you had the poem. I got the other part. I said that. I got um, I got this one. Well, I didn't leave it upstairs. I just gave it to you when I was done. Oh, well, then it's probably right there on top of the box. Or in the box. But I'm sure I'll figure it out. That's what an unboxing's all about. It has a couple blades for it. I don't want to use it. the chisola for that. You hear me? What? It has a couple blades for it. And they come about? out. He said, "If you hold it upside down, they'll come out." Okay. Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna figure it out. Okay. All right. Whoa. This thing is heavy. It is a kukri. All right. We are gonna be using it. Okay. I do see the double blades in there. Right there, you can see the two blades. Ooh, that thing is a beast. <laughs> that thing is a beast. I just want to hack through the table right this now. This bagel is so good. That is awesome. And you can tell, like, this thing's a real kukri, meaning, like, it's not a wall piece. This thing is from swing. Can I hold it? You can, you can, yeah. You can feel the, um, not just the weight, Holy but the build I wanna, quality. I literally <clears throat> want to two-hand it. It's that heavy. 
I think I could two-hand it. Even the sheath is very well made. Now, he left me all the information that I'm going to put in the review about Kukri oh, and cut my bagel the with sheath this. making. I should have <laughs> cut my bagel with it. He does want us to use it, which we are. Ooh, and then we got a couple little daggers in here. A couple little EDC blades. I don't know what this hand is. It's a baby. Is. Hold that up. Um, it's a baby. I need to... Uh, to read more on what this handle material is, I know he probably left it in the information. Um, this one is an unsharpened one, so I What's would... What's that for? A butter knife from a bagel? Yeah, yeah, probably. That's probably why he sent the bagels. Um, this one's sharpened. Um, it needs a new edge, but it seems almost like a throwing knife. I would, you know... I know! But, but I don't know. It, it is probably a full tang, but I don't know that, so I wouldn't throw them. Because they're what not is that mine, for? but um, uh, you know I don't know to be honest. It's like Those, a little tooth mark. Um, it might just have something. I have no idea. Um, I guess when we read up on kukri's a little bit more, we might know what this little mark is. But I know this is an authentic kukri. So, but if you look at the um, the where the blade meets the, I, I don't know what to call it. I guess um, the brass fitting. Um, you can see like how well put together it is and how this is a full tang. Sorry mm -hmm. if you guys can't see it. Um, and then it's got the butt plate. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this material is. I'm guessing it's some type of wood from whatever country this was made in. And like I said, all the information is on the list. It's just I'm not going to go over it right now because this ain't the review. This um, is a convex ground blade. Are those like bites out of it? Yeah, you can tell there's some chips. So we are going to be using this on stuff. Like we're yeah. going to we'll do some stuff. But um, I I'm, don't know if I'll sharpen it because this is a heck of a sharpening job. Well, this would take me a couple sessions. And you know, you know what's cool is you can actually see, I don't know if you guys can, but right here there's like a fuller. It concaves in, it concaves in. Concave. Right here concaves in right here then it's kind of hollowed right here yeah. and then right here is convexed so it's a skin like a scandy grind but um a convex scandy grind can i say something very cool very lots of what yeah go ahead the last time we did like outdoor slicing i sliced my knee open with a socom yeah with a socom so now like this thing is scaring me because i'm just picturing myself doing the same yeah. thing to my knee, but with that, oh my god, it would probably go through my whole leg. I'd yeah. probably lose my leg. Yeah. I need um, to be careful. Well, one thing though is this thing, it's going to go through stuff or chop stuff just from brute force because of yeah. the weight. Look you at don't the even thickness. need to swing hard. You know what? Let me show this. <laughs> it's so Look thick. Look at the thickness. It's the same thickness as a... It's thicker than a... <laughs> Um, than an elementum. <laughs> yeah. So the, the spine thickness is thicker than an elementum. But, um, but yeah, this thing, just a brute force would chop stuff. And I know on the camera right now, it probably looks like we're almost hitting each other with it. No, I swear good. that is just the camera angle makes it look like we yeah. are so close to each other. We are not. We're close next to each other, but not like the front. Like it right looks here, like you're like chopping my face I'm like off. two feet from her right yeah. now. So. People always say that. They're like, oh my God, you guys are going to kill each other. Like, I could totally turn this thing and still put it up and I'm still I'm still a and foot, away, a foot I, away from her sometimes so. I exaggerate and do this even when it's yeah not I close. do that because I'm thinking it's gonna fall out of the hand mm -hmm. you know but anyways but yeah we're gonna test this thing out like I said I don't know if I'll put an edge it is not sharp like um, meaning like it's been hit smack so many times that the edge is gone but this is like the type of thing that you could keep using all day and it doesn't have to be sharp because it's the brute force that goes through things so I do want to say a couple things about the bagel. Um, since this was part of the package, we got to review the bagel. This is an everything bagel from Long Island. Um, it is delicious. I will say, I thought that the bagels there were a little thicker where like the hole wasn't existent. So I'm not so sure what's going on with that. But I will say, this is a good bagel. I chose cream cheese and I am satisfied. Thank you. There's my review. I think I had these flip backwards. I'll talk more in a review about the tension and everything else. Oh, I see else. what he was saying. If you flip that upside down, those will fall out. That's what he meant. Um, well, well, don't try it. Good. Well, the, the tension's actually... Well, I was going to talk about the tension in the review, but the tension's very good. We'll go more on that in the review because I want to talk about this leather mm -hmm. stitching and everything and just the overall build quality. But this thing does seem nasty and it's definitely going to be fun 
to chop mm -hmm. some branches. Maybe we'll make a little path in some woods we know of nearby. And uh, yeah. I want to wear it on my belt. Thank you very much. Um, seems logical. Thank you. Not going to say your name. Um, <laughs> and we appreciate all this. <laughs> This is very awesome. I'm definitely mm -hmm. sucking one of these down today. I'm definitely going to drink one of these down. Um, very awesome, man. Thank you very much. Thank we you. I really appreciate you. Peace. And thanks for all the information you left me because that comes mm -hmm. to so much use. Like a lot of people um, do send their knives with information and that does help us a lot. Um, especially when it's something unique like this. Thank when it's you, unique yeah. stuff. Sorry, I was trying to get rid of the crumbs. Here, let me throw it in the garbage. I need it. Just the crumbs. The crumbs! This is the studio! This is my bagel. Peace. Bye.